You look, look at this fucking trailer, right? Look at the, okay, 7 minutes no. and 40 seconds, a million views, and this funny, funny little purple bar that indicates everybody is skipping the first 4 minutes of the video right here, right? New YouTube feature, highlights. Because fuck this mobile game shit. I'm, I, we might, at, after we talk about Cage 4, I might like go through this a little bit and talk a little bit of shit about it, but for now, this is all that matters. Let's just watch it. I'm just gonna like play it in full a little bit and then like talk about it as it goes and then I'll like replay it and pause it a little bit. The first time I watched this trailer, I didn't have subtitles. I just saw somebody post a Japanese link and I hopped on it. <laughs> I, would, I would have my webcam on right now, but the, my computer is in a spot where I can't fucking plug it in. Look at this fucking guy. I can't believe... When I first saw this trailer, I could not believe what I was looking at. Like, I genuinely could not believe that they already took this step on fucking... Basically making him Noctis. We got the fourth Noctis clone, and it's Sora. That's so fucking cool. KH4 Sora with my life. It's actually fucking insane what they did. Yo. Ali Avocado with the 11 months. Thank you very much. Look at his fucking hair. It's got like curls in it now. Yo, Moroccan Warrior with the Prime Gaming sub. You know, this character has had a crazy journey. This character right here has had such a crazy journey from being like a two kilobyte sprite on a phone game. And you know, like the fucking phone game was so delayed from JP to International that like it was it was like a year until she showed up on like our phones or whatever. And I remember in twenty eighteen going to one of the Kingdom Hearts Orchestra concerts and seeing somebody in this full cosplay with like the hair and everything. I don't know if it was a wig, but, you know, it was a really good cosplay. And I, remember, I remember seeing that person and being like, wow. This this character is like, isn't even real. I mean, none of them are, but, like, when, when it's a phone game character, it's, like, an extra layer of not being real, right? And so I was so flabbergasted. Bro was flabbergasted. Kingdom Hearts is your kingdom. Uh, turn off the alerts <clears throat> for today, if you could. Because he doesn't have the heart to go on a run. Also, Sugar nice free. job getting that 10% chance for that particular this reward. The beginning of zone damage revenge up for what happened to Vera's Final Fantasy. <laughs> I'm cautiously it's optimistic scammed. for this game. Let's hope it's good and not shit. Drip, 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 Yeah, that's pretty cheap. Yo, Chaos Jack with the 500 bits. Yeah, that's how I'm feeling too. Yeah, so they, they made her real in, um, she's real now. Not only is she real, but she's also hyper-realistic. What a crazy jump from being a phone game character with a great design to, uh, in Quadratum, hyper-realism, Unreal Engine 5, Purgatory. Definitely going to be doing the Union Cross cutscene stream now, especially, so that I can understand, um... Story. Finally found the time Yo. to catch a stream still that's busy, a, but I'm That's a sub alert right there. Yo, Gamer Sealman with the tier three sub, thank you very much. Thank you everybody for the generosity and all the follows so far. I've barely been live for like ten minutes and here we are. <laughs> I wonder what her English voice actor is going to be. Of course, the actress. Sora has no shoes on. How old is Sora now? Mm. 
死の世界ってことになるみたい。Like, this is right after Remind, right? But Remind is a year after KH3. This Neo Dark Side is really fucking cool. Look at these Final Fantasy VII R NPCs. Look at that fucking. That's literally Cage 3 Sora's run cycle if he has no Keyblade out. That's so cool. This gameplay is fake. But that fucking keychain grapple is sick as fucking, and it'll probably be a gameplay mechanic. This is like. This is like. Hold on. It's happening all over again with this shit. You see this? You remember Sora fighting the literal hype train for like four years worth of trailers? This is like Rock Titan 2.0. I know we all know gameplay trailers this early on are just proof of concepts meant to look cool. The cool, the, the cool thing about this is that it's all rendered uh, in game. This is, this is not pre-rendered, which is swell. Already beating KH3 on that point. Um... Somebody needs to tell these fucking Japanese developers about bitrate. You see this shit? This shit is unacceptable right now in terms of the, the, the upload of this video. You know, PS, this is probably gonna be like a PS5, it's not gonna be on PS4, it's gonna be like a PS5, Xbox, whatever game. But we cannot be posting these 1080p fucking trailers anymore. We can't do it. Stop doing it. It's not even 60 FPS. That's all our numbers. Final Fantasy 15 Stitch Moogle. I am 100% going to be playing Final Fantasy 15 on this stream because of this shit. Now, this Final Fantasy 15 has become too important to um, the lore, basically, in an aesthetic way. I will be playing it though. It's like at this point, I have it on Steam. I have Royal Edition. Yeah. So, um, for those of you who are not up on um, YouTube bit rates and shit, uh, 1080p is not cutting it. Not even for 1080p. 1080p doesn't cut it. You all know why. There's a secret parameter here attached to your quality grade that um, determines what bitrate your video gets. And 1080p bitrate is very low for YouTube. It's not adequate enough. If you've ever seen my videos on YouTube, which I hope you have, at least once or twice, um, I upload in 1440p. But my m the majority of my footage is literally just 1080p footage recorded at double the bitrate of what YouTube provides for 1080p, and then I render it at 1440p to trick YouTube into giving me a better bitrate. Somebody needs to tell these developers about this because I want to see every pixel here because this looks fantastic, but when you pause it and you just look at it, it looks like shit because, you know, it's a YouTube video. I want to see this in 4K. This is going to be Unreal Engine 5. This trailer is Unreal Engine 4 because, you know, it's early. But, this shit's gonna look so good. Yeah, the Final Fantasy versus 13 comparisons are more ripe than they've ever been. Just straight up. It's all here. God, look at these Unreal Engine 4 coats. Level 5 Scam Train. When I first saw these numerals, I thought it said 3. <laughs> because I, I didn't really see the, the V. I didn't know what was going on. Yeah, thank you for the bits, everybody. By the way, I, I've been slacking on the thinking. 4. 4. I can't believe the uh, TTS bot actually said it right instead of saying IV. Yo, kind of saw you guy with the 14 months. Thank you very much. Yeah, so, um... When I first thought, when I first saw this this trailer roll in, this thing, this Roman numeral, it looked like uh, a three because it's hard to see the V. Yo, small moment with the gifted subs of Jake protagonist. Thank you guys very much for the hype train, the scam train rolling through. 
Okay, so let me let me tell you guys about my experience watching this trailer first. Yo, hidden in the reeds with the five gifted subs. Thank you very much. I appreciate that a lot. You guys are really destroying the sub. Well, we're gonna be playing. Um, is my thing on? Oh, there we go. The or the um the sub counter should be working now. Streamlabs wasn't open. Okay. So, I stayed up all night last night. I didn't want to, like, stream all night because I was working on stuff. But I stayed up all night because I was like, fuck it, my sleep schedule was destroyed. I might as well just stay up and wait for this. And, um... Goddamn, I could not believe what I was seeing. Look at this new font. I think this logo needs to be tweaked a little bit. The... The IV in the front is too similar to the colors are all around it, so it's hard to see that it's not three. It's hard to see this a little bit. Like, I paused it earlier, and it was on a frame where it was still glowing. This reads better than, um, than three. <clears throat> but I really like that they're coming right out the bat. I was not expecting Kingdom Hearts 4, to be honest. I thought that it was going to be... Ferrum Rex. Well, not while I was watching it. I saw the fucking the tweet of the guy who was at the event. The one guy who was at the event who broke the embargo. And was like, Cage 4 reveals. Good. And I was like, okay, well. This trailer is really cool. Um, as always, the way they... Oh, yeah, it's not over yet. Hold on. I, I forgot. There's more. Now this looks fucking fantastic too. <laughs> Look at the animation that they have. Did Cage 3 have any any like Disney scenes with Donald and Goofy like really like emoting like that? Like cartoony looking like, actual animation and not just them just standing around. Not really, fuck no, very few. Yeah, that's exactly... That's exactly what I'm talking about. If they'll... If... I'm hoping that, like, every scene with them has that energy. You know? Instead of just, you know, just talk... Standing around talking as if it were Cage 2 still. There's no way that the whole game is going to be hyper-realistic quadratum graphics. I don't know to what degree... What degree do you think... Like, what percentage of the game do you think is going to be in quadratum, like, in the city? Is it going to be, like, the hub world, or is it going to be, like, the hub, like, of the whole game? First quarter, 70%? 30%? I feel like this is like I feel like this game has a very high chance of shaking up the formula instead of being like oh yeah here's the hub here's the first world it's quadratum and then you have a gummy ship that goes to Star Wars world which you know if you missed the memo um where is the ATST That's an ATST's foot. ATST, ATST. Yeah, there it is. I think that this is a good thing. Because if this were in any previous Kingdom Hearts game, it would be sus. But because we're in this particular Kingdom Hearts game that has this particular vibe, so, so it seems... I think it'll work out pretty well. Hyper fucking realistic Unreal Engine 5 with like a Star Wars setting. With See, Kingdom Hearts has gone from a pre-teen demographic to a teen demographic. You, you guys have been upgraded in, um, in the target demographic that they're aiming at here. Finally. Which Star Wars planet was this? I would imagine Endor. It's like the first... That's the one from episode 6 or whatever, right? Yeah, Endor. Yeah, chat's moving really fast. 
that Kingdom Hearts 4 hype tap has finally been reopened. How long was it since... How long was the content drought? Can I put on slow mode? Um, yeah, sure, try it. I don't think that'll help because these are all individual messages and not the same message from different people. Or, um, the same message from the same person, so it's not going to slow down the room very much, but, you know, whatever you feel like you need to do. NVIDIA leaks said 2023, you know? They might not be too far off. I think this has to be like an older trailer, right? Based solely on the fact that this is Unreal Engine 4 in the trailer, but it, the game's going to be on 5. This has to be like old to some degree, right? Been in dev since at least 2018. You know, maybe they took this, maybe they took announcing KH3 way too early. Maybe they took that to heart. KH3 did not. K3 should not have had as long of a dev cycle as it did. And, you know, it switched engines in a more substantial way than Unreal Engine 4 to 5. It switched from that fucking in-house luminous shit to, to Unreal 4. But now going from Unreal 4 to 5 and just making a new game on top of it all is going to be way, way faster. So we might just get jump scared by this game. Yeah, the NVIDIA leak fucking has been, like, so accurate so far. Unreal 5 isn't, different that, isn't that different from 4. I mean, yeah, if it's, if it's just Unreal 4 to 5, that's not really all too crazy of a jump. I don't know why this trailer ended up being in 4. I don't know what the whole logic was behind that, but it's very exciting. Have we seen... Okay, I know... I know I might get people to tell me to touch grass for this, but... Are these real plants? <laughs> Have we, like, seen these? In real life? Or is this, like, a Star Wars plant? Is this real? They aren't real plants? Looks like some kind of fungus? Fungus among us? It's fungi? It's real? What is it, then? Whip out the bestiary, please. I don't know. Bestiary? Do they have a name for a bestiary? A mushroom? It's not a mushroom, it's red. Mushrooms aren't red. It's a Star Wars mushroom. Somebody go through the Star Wars wiki and, uh, I don't know. Yeah, any botanists? This is so exciting. This is, I think this is a more substantial jump in Sora's design than it was going from 2 to 3. Like, easily. Like, the first time we saw KH3 Sora, at least in that trailer. No more said Sora looked like this cause world magic. Is that true? Is that like, he looks like this because of, um, like the world order thing? Or, like, being a mermaid in Atlantica? Is that the same logic? Is that real? Yo, Ethios with the bits, thank you very much. Yeah. Gaslight? Question mark. New, uh, new emote, by the way. Stickman Sham, or Stick Sham Gaslight. We made it up. This one was invented by a writer. It never happened. I mean, yeah, actually, yeah, in Cage 3, when you go to Quadrat and you have more realistic textures, I, when, when, when they said, um, when Ethios said, he looks like this because of world magic, I, I took that as his design is like this because of world magic. But no, him having hyper-realistic textures does make sense for Quadratum because, you know, it's like that in Cage 3. When you go to Quadratum and you fight your Zora or whatever, um, you've got the better textures. That makes sense. It checks out. He's still gonna look like that though. I don't think that's slow mode. I don't think that's helping. <laughs> that only slow mode only only slows down one person sending a message after after their previous one. There are so many people sending individual messages that the just turn it ten, put it to ten seconds slow mode. It's fine. Or you just turn it off. It's not doing anything. Dude, 
Yeah, like Come I was on. like I was saying earlier, what a fucking what a story this character has had. Like not even in the game's lore, just as a character going from just a sprite in a mobile game to straight into quadratum graphics. That's crazy. Sora's pants look nice. They're like What were those baggy ass jeans? Jinko jeans or whatever. Isn't she dead? I mean, yeah, they're both dead. This is where they end up. This is, um... Kingdom Hearts is taking a bold stance here. They're basically saying when you die, you go to the real world, which is hell. So, you know, you end up in a capitalist society. They're calling it hell here. Um, very strong stance. Being taken here. Hold on. He has so much swag. This is unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Absolutely fucking unbelievable. Look at this outfit. This is... This would be a better... Place to judge his drip if you were wearing some goddamn shoes, but you know what I mean. Uh, let's just um, sweep those under the rug. Uh, yeah, this outfit is fucking fantastic. I need to make a tier list for Sora drip, but this is definitely like right next to Cage too. Yeah, no belts. No more is in his leather phase. He has no gloves. True. Oh yeah, he doesn't have gloves in combat, does he? Oh yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, the gloves were really getting um toned down over the years. KH three only had half gloves where they like didn't even cover his like palms, so what was the fucking point? I like the new shoes. When you die you go to Aoyama Tokyo, the most expensive residential area in Japan. Is that what this area is? Ayama, Ayama, fucking nice pronunciation, Sham. Yeah, thank you for the bits. Yeah, I saw a picture of like the real life location of Sora's house. <laughs> they already doxed him. <laughs> like somebody, like took like a street view and like pointed at this particular apartment. Namara's not fucking around. Yeah, they already doxed his ass. Oh hell no. Nah. What a nice place. What fucking job does Sora have to be living here? That's crazy. <laughs> Namara's off his fucking gourd with this. He's got something to say. And Square Enix didn't let him say it for Versus 13, and now he's gonna fucking scream it at the top of his lungs. His and his outfit looks lived in now. Yeah, it actually looks like a real outfit. There are so many fucking details that they can actually do that. Here, let's... What's a good frame to show that off, do you know? This, this almost gives me Unreal Engine tech demo vibes with the degree that you can see the fibers in every single fucking piece of cloth and this whole couch and whatnot. His hair is different because he slept for seven days straight. Is that true? <laughs> what if that's true? Maybe that's the basis behind his hair being so dramatically different. Oh, that's no way. What was that meme? Somebody drew when cage 3 Sora was announced or something a long time ago somebody drew like a meme of cage Sora's hair between every cage game whatever your opinion is in his writing we can all agree he put his whole no mussy in this design the no mussy oh hell no nah. announcement stop talking about his feet kind of true what was he saying uh somebody drew like this 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 meme of Sora's hair between 1, 2, and 3, you know, and his hair was getting, like, increasingly, um, tilted up, like a fucking Super Saiyan, and then, like, there was, like, a mock-up of what Cage 4 might look like, and it was, like, a question mark. I want to find that meme so that I can see where Sora's hair stacks up now compared to that, because it didn't quite follow the trend, did it? 
They never should have. They, give Sora some fucking socks for this trailer, please, no more. Design some socks with, like, a zipper on it. That'd be cool. When I first saw this, I was like, oh shit, Death Stranding. <laughs> I thought that that was the kind of enemy that was materializing here, was Death Stranding or whatever the, th the big things are in that game. Near energy? Do the tags still say French? I thought I got rid of that. France? Whatever. A shade? Neo Dark Side. Look at how big he is. Just yeah, finally a new Dark Side variant. It's been years since we had the last one. Pink Dark Side in Reminds. Look at these NPCs. They just drift in straight from Final Fantasy VII R over here. This dude's recording it with his phone. I mean, I would, I would too, or at least for two seconds, and then I would run like this guy. Sora has such a strong running animation now. That's one of my favorite things about his KH3 portrayal. Is he has a really good run cycle. Like, very good silhouette here. In the, uh... This is relevant. In the, um... Yo, Zora fight when he fucking steals your keyblade if you're just running around the arena like the, the best way to deal with that attack is just to run because the keyblades are coming at your feet if, you, if you're running during that fight this is how you look because you get the no keyblade run animation in battle it's like the only time that that happens so it's very cool to see him running like that in the actual trailer he's wearing vans also another really fucking cool frame that i wish um i had a direct feed screenshot of so that the bitrate wouldn't be fucked up. What a really fucking cool looking game for this to be in engine. Yo, thank you for the bits. Yeah, he's got Vans. The cool thing about his Vans is that it has a yellow trim, so he still has like the the touch, the dash of yellow that uh, Sora has always had. It's been getting diminished over the years, but they're still there. The gold trim Vans, very nice. And I like that the shoots are just normal. I like that that's... This is definitely going to be the most dis uh, divisive thing about this game, at least with this very small slice, this one world that we're looking at, where it has hyper-realistic graphics. But a lot of people are definitely... They don't know how to handle um, not having a cartoony style. I think that this looks great. It's just a matter of what percentage of the game is actually going to look like this, you know? How long are we going to be spending in hyper-realistic mode? I mean, there's no way... There's absolutely no way that they're going to put this much energy into making a hyper-realistic world for it to be, like, the hub. Like, the first world. Like, a Traverse Town type, you know? There's no way. It's, there's no way it's just going to be just one world if they're going to put this much into it. I mean, I'm no developer here, but... You see if he has the blue belt. It doesn't even look like he has a belt at all. Also, um, ace sound effect here. Best sound effect. When this fucking keychain does the grapple. That's so cool. Okay, uh, the voices in my head tell me, have told me that the bottom button here says build. That seems to be... The consensus, it, that's, I don't know what build means in this context, but that's what the bottom button does. And I want to assume that it is uh, related to what this is. You know? Build. What, are, there, are, are there any games? <laughs> okay, besides Fortnite, not Fortnite. Are there any games that, any Japanese games... 
that use this particular kanji or whatever to describe a game mechanic? Build as in form. Build your own keyblade. Common Rider uses that katakana. Which build of the game for the demo? Nah, I, I actually thought about that earlier today. And I was like, nah, no way. Anyways, I hope that, um... You guys might... Does anybody recognize where this sound effect is from? I posted about it on my Twitter. I'll, I'll pull up that video, but, um... The Master Xehanort fight in Remind has this sound effect all over the place because Master Xehanort can do, like, I don't know what it's going to be called, but, like, Keyblade morphing. Not switching, but, like, morphing. Like what, um, Lingering Will can do. And has been doing since fucking 2006 or whatever, whenever FM came out, 6 or 7. And this is their opportunity to make that a game mechanic, yeah, that's why that's what I think build means. It would be swell if that were, you know if not if this is not only just a QTE but also just straight up part of Sora's moveset between keyblades. It's about time that we get that ability represented in game. Yeah, here's my uh, here's my Twitter thing. There are better examples in this fight. Here, where was that the reply? Why is Butch Hartman trending? Good question. Yeah, anyways, the sound of the metal fucking, like, flinging around and, like, reconnecting after, like, disconnecting to, like, whip around. Very swell. I want to imagine that this is what build means, basically. It's just interesting to see it. It's very cool to see it as the bottom button and not like a random fucking thing with bobber that shows up over here, you know, like in the contextual context button or a thing that you like. You get you you do like four combos and then you can activate it. You know, cage three style. I don't want to see any more of that. I want to be able to activate these things and use a meter to activate them on the fucking fly. No more of this cage three meter shit, please. The game has so many so many decent mechanics locked behind oh yeah just do like four air combos on a large body and then activate i do not want to see any more of that please we need to get away from that we need to go back to the ex meter which um is back again hopefully survives uh development unlike the ex meter in kh3 hopefully shot locks are dead i would like to see shot locks die finally shot locks have never been all that inspiring of a mechanic The ghosts of flow motion. What button is that? Is that even a... That is a button with no prompts. That's, that's the outline of a button with no button. Multiplat. Google Stadia menu button. Stadians. We finally got our end. We're back, stadiums. You have to guess what button you have to press. This will probably be X. Or maybe it was a triangle. I don't know. I translated that build into Korean so I could see what exactly they meant by build, and it seems they do mean that it's mean you will be piecing things together to create something for yourself. So Keyblade builds V possible. Hmm. That's exciting. Maybe each, maybe every keyblade has like three or four move sets attached to it, where you like you you transform it into something. I don't know. That's it's way too early to tell. 
Way too early to tell. Elemental augmentation, maybe some tyrant shit from Final Fantasy, who knows. Keyboid customization. Fake hood again? Yeah, definitely. There's no way that the hood is real. That is interesting, though, to see them, after having a fake EX meter in, like, every early Cage 3 trailer, it's interesting for them to have another fake EX meter, if it is fake. I hope that they do something with it as in just, oh yeah, here's a meter for shot locking and, like, nothing else. Yeah, the hood is also pretty early. What well, if you only get Kingdom Key for the whole game? That would be crazy. Here was this link. Yeah, look at that fucking stretching. That's pretty swell. Disney anime Disney characters are gonna be animated quite nicely, huh? I hope they really put a lot of energy into, you know, giving these characters energy instead of just having them stand around and like talk all day in cutscenes. <laughs> Very interesting to see more of um, the black coat. The black coat changed the... Um, how, do, how do I describe this? The silhouette of the, bre of the black coat kind of changed heavily. More so like the hood. Yeah, the hood looks different compared to how it looked in the original graphics. You know? Here, let me find a good example. Like the... The closed portion of the hood has a different vibe to it, you know? This is a What's weird conversation. I think, well, I don't know if I have a wish list. It's too early to say because I have no idea what they're going to put into this. Other than, you know, Star Wars <laughs> makes a lot of sense now. But I, it's, it's, who knows if to what degree Disney Worlds are even really going to be in this. If it's gonna look like this, who knows if we're gonna play as multiple characters and like, who knows if we're gonna play as like Riku in the normal world and he's going through Disney worlds and they look like KH3 worlds, but then you play as Sora in this place. I don't, I don't know. It's way too early to say. The format of Kingdom Hearts could be very different now. Is it just me, or, um... Do I get a different vibe from the way characters in black coat hoods look now that they're in new graphics? I like, I like the change, it's just different. I always felt that, like, the biggest change, the biggest visual change in the way that uh, characters looked is that the black hoods got a bit more imposing. And I associate that with um, Master of Masters more than anyone else because that was the first time we saw him in this look. And I guess Lushu too. What are you talking about? They look exactly the <laughs> same. Your crazy stick from Gaslight. That is the best emote on this website. Cross gen or current gen only? I don't think it'll be cross gen. I think it's going to be new gen only and PC. But who knows, maybe it'll be PC at a later date? My best guess, I don't, I've don't. i been wondering, ever since they ported Kingdom Hearts to PC, I've been wondering to what degree new games are going to also be on PC. I think... I think that it'll come to PC, but at a later date. It'll be like Series X and PS5 at launch, and then uh, PC at a later date, if they're smart. And yeah, Epic Games Store, if anything. Which to me, in, in my particular circumstance, because I'm a content creator who does a lot of stuff with Square Enix games, that's, that's a W because somebody's going to email me a key from Epic Games. They're just going to give me the game. So that's a dub for me, but it sucks for everyone else who plays games on Steam and prefers it for good reason. And, you know, Square is trying to save that money by using the Epic Games Store, because, you know. Don't they get, like, a benefit for doing that? Because 
Epic Games, Unreal Engine, and whatnot. Don't they get like um some kind of perk, some kind of perks for um exclusivity on their shitty store? Better cut on Epic Games, yeah, because they have to pay a certain cut, and if they put it on Steam, then they would have to pay thirty percent on top of the uh like some big percent on top of the Epic Games cut or the uh the Unreal Engine cut. It was like double. So I can't really blame them, to be honest. But yeah, less customers overall is something that you have to really factor into that. That's kind of a big unknown figure. Especially because, you know, Epic games are usually easier to pirate, but, you know, that's besides the point. I wish there was more real gameplay. It's not really realistic to have much of that this early on so it's exciting for whenever this gets another trailer that's probably when we'll get real gameplay we're gonna get jump scared by this game this game's gonna come out way earlier than any of us are expecting or ready for yeah look the, the chain of the, the keyblade is rounded and not flat like it is in smash NVIDIA leak September 2023. That sounds reasonable. It could get delayed though, who knows. Late 2023 or early 2024, I, um, I feel confident. I'm just surprised that they aren't doing a side game. Didn't Nomura say some shit like he didn't know if he wanted to do Verum Rex or Cage 4 first? And so he was like... Eh, people were worried about Sora, so we're going to do KH4 first, right? That's kind of weird. Is, does that mean Verum Rex is going to be like a separate IP? Like, completely separate from Kingdom Hearts and not just like, oh yeah, this is like Kingdom Hearts Verum Rex? This is going to be Verum Rex on its own? They still refer to the game in office as Verum Rex, so it's like a placeholder, like calling Bloodborne Project Beast or something, right? Slight mistranslation? Probably true. Folks at Square called Cage 4 Verum Rex. Oh, is that true? Oh, okay. I did not get that memo. Okay. Missing Link is the side game. Hopefully not. I'm not trying to play a mobile game version of Cage 3. I'm not even trying to play Cage 3 as it is. <laughs> so. Namora said he wanted this to be called Verum Rex, but he didn't wish to confuse fans and source whereabouts. See, this is so weird then, because that look like in any other any other Kingdom Hearts game up to this point, it wouldn't be a numbered game. Are they like are they are they is this gonna be a numbered game out of obligation and not like That's interesting. Cause what I was expecting was the next game to be like Chain of Memories 3, basically. Dream Drop Distance 2, what have you. Mid-sequel, where you go between Sora and Riku or something. But, I mean, I'm down for it. Trans the translation might be bunk. We shouldn't, um, shouldn't be making these judgment calls this early on, so let's not think too much into it. But that's interesting. Melody and Memories was between games. Yeah. That would be quite something, wouldn't it? Maybe they really don't want to fuck around with um, side games and mid-sequels anymore. Maybe that was just part of the, the handheld era. Maybe the handheld era is truly over and we're just going from number to number. Isn't that interesting? It took us... How long between 2 and 3, and now 3 to 4 is like, how many years? Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get myself too hung up on things that are lost in translation. I'll just wait for official sources and better translations before making any, um, judgment calls. So, I won't read too deeply into the whole Verimrex thing. Maybe since this is the start of the new arc, it wouldn't make sense to start it with a side game. That too, that um makes a lot of sense as well. Man. This is the first time in Kingdom Hearts history that we've ever gone from 
numbered title to numbered title. Like, okay, KH1 to KH2, Chain of Memories right in the middle. KH2 to KH3, Dream Drop Distance, and Birth by Sleep, and Recoded, and Days. Not in chronological order, of course. Melody of Memories, that, there's no way. I'm not gonna count that. Don't gaslight me. Melody of Memories might as well be a cutscene that's in Remind. It's, there's one hour of lore in that game. I can't count it. How am I supposed to count it as a fucking mid-sequel? You know, like, look at Dream Drop Distance and Chain of Memories. You, might, you know how much fucking goes down in that game? Chain of Memories introduced the entire fucking organization. Dream Drop Distance revived half of the antagonists. What did Melody of Memories do? You can't count that. You really cannot. Mobile game? Sure. I will say that that has a substantial... Um, that's gonna have a substantial amount of, like, added stuff to the franchise going into the next numbered title, because, you know... Wait, how you, how can you even count Union Cross? When did that come out? That didn't come out before KH3, did it? It did. It did come out before KH3. How can you count that? I mean, I guess it was an ongoing service game, but... It doesn't count. Dark Road counts? Is that game even real? I don't even... I don't know ever hear about that shit. No more put his whole normalcy into the phone game story. And he's left the FF7R team now, so he's devoted himself to KH now. Oh, really? I didn't know they did that. People can finally stop fucking complaining about FF7 having a weird plot in the remake. Because now Namor's not there, and so they don't have any more um, line of offense to randomly sling at Final Fantasy VII. That's crazy. Good to know, though. Thank you for the bits. People love going apeshit over the name Tetsuya Namora, even though... He didn't fucking write it. More or less. You guys are so ignorant, what the hell? That's crazy. All well, you video game donkeys out here. He's the new Dingleberg. Yeah, didn't the Mora actually like kind of save the plot of FF7? Like, weren't they gonna kill every every main character in some way? I don't know. I'm no expert on this topic either. All I know is that Nomura haters are um, out of line. This is quite the substantial trailer. Well, not really. I mean, it's substantial in terms of like this is so new. Let's go look at the. <laughs> I actually skipped through this part. I haven't seen the majority of the first half of this trailer. Let's 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 watch it in the background. I can't believe. Oh, let me let me let me rate this trailer in terms of like presentation and every factor going into this trailer being released. Okay, huge points for calling it. The Lost Master arc right off the bat, because you know, they um they coined the term Dark Seeker Saga or whatever. That was everything before this. I appreciate that a lot. Yeah, who's the Lost Master? Is Sora a master? Is he the one who's the lost or are they talking about the foretellers? And that's another conversation to be had. Are the foretellers gonna be major players in this? Like um K3 Epilogue suggested? Is that still on the table? It's mom. They could be mom and foretellers, sure. God, I'm getting a fucking contact high from all these Kingdom Hearts fans that are in my chat right now. Briefer smoke every direction. Hey, look. Feels good. Stick shame a well nah. Oh, hell nah, yo. It's on Black Ops with the three months. Thank you very much. With the Prime subscription, setting a good example for all the people in chat. Here's your prime sub. I put my Mountain Dew on my mouse pad. Please don't do that. Okay. Okay, so calling it the Lost Master Arc right off the bat. Very cool. 
Let's just watch it again. Fuck it. So this this font is like one to one with a versus thirteen trailer, right? This font, this color. Didn't I see a comparison the other day? That's pretty cool. I like that they're leaning into this very heavily. No more, just like, yeah, fuck it, this is my versus 13, no. I appreciate that. Kingdom Hearts needed some kind of, um, gravity to it. I didn't feel that KH3 had much to say. The majority of the things KH3 added to the table was just set up for this game, so that's exciting. Yeah, link me the versus 13 trailer that is, uh, most appropriate for this comparison. We'll watch that after this. Who do you think composed the music in this trailer? It had to have been Yoko, right? It sounds very movie-esque. She looks real. A bunch of people I was seeing were like, Oh, she looks so ugly, and I'm like, yeah, I mean, she looks real, so... Kind of telling what your preferences are. She looks real. She looks like a real person. I had no idea that this was supposed to be Soro at first. It it really looks like Noctis. Some people were suggesting this is kind of an outlandish theory, but some people were suggesting that um Sora is becoming Yozora and vice versa. Like there's a picture of Sora and his hairs were kind of gray looking in the right frame. You think Sora's gonna snap in this game? This is probably just lighting, but yeah, look at Sora's uh, hair around here. He's going gray. Sora will say fuck. I hope he does. It's about time. He's in purgatory. I don't think Sora's gonna be his happy-go-lucky self and his KH3 happy-go-lucky vibe. You know? Like, how could, how could they? How could he be like that when he looks like this. Just look at the graphics, look at the art style. How does it make sense? You know? I already get such a different vibe from this game. It's so early to say that. Maybe I'm going to have an egg on my face in about eight months when we see more of this game, but I think there are going to be big changes. We, get, we might get more at Summerfest. Oh yeah, that's the new E3, right? Not E3. E3 is not going to be at E3 today, this year. Sora and KH4 be like, I don't give a fuck who you are, Stitch from Chaos. I don't give a fuck who you are. I hope he's in this game. Jack Garland from Stranger of Paradise. That'd be swell. They should have stayed tuned. We're going to be starting a playthrough of GBA Chain of Memories after this. I don't know how, much, how long we're going to be spending on replaying this and talking about it, but it's a great conversation to be had here. This is the first time since I became a streamer that I've gotten to do this sort of thing. It's been such a long time since I felt like re-watching a Kingdom Hearts trailer over and over again because it's new. It's nice. Good feeling. Hey Kingdom Hearts fans, Sham plays other games too, so tune in for those. There are other games that exist besides Kingdom Hearts Smile. That's pretty true. But this game's still in the fucking show for a long time. Look at that, Kingdom Hearts 4. They, they didn't even fuck around with the side game. Look at that font, how do we feel about the font? Uh, 
Oh, I could. Still got Disney in the top left. There's definitely going to be Star Wars in this. They just make... They better... If they're going to put Star Wars in this, they better have, um... Play Arts... Darth Vader as a super boss. Let me pull it up. He better show up. Earliest versus 13 trailer. Yeah, let's pull that up. Ominous. Yeah, same vibe with this fucking on screen text. William Shakespeare. This, this is DMC three A. Now we're good. Looks like it's going to have all the same problems as KH3. It's too early to say. Nomura must have so much confidence in what this was to be still caught up on it. I like that this energy is going into Kingdom Hearts. Like, it's literally just being injected directly into Kingdom Hearts. Whatever the fuck. Whatever the fuck his plans were. They're being put into Kingdom Hearts. And I think that that's a swell buff for Kingdom Hearts. A well-needed buff at this point. Kingdom Hearts kind of went dry for many, many years. It went juiceless. This is where all the juice was, and then it fucking spilled on his mouse pad. I've been there before. I would hate to. I would hate to spill my juice all over the mouse pad. You know, I've got so much plans for that juice. This happened to my buddy Eric once. Yeah, let's pop that other one. Is that other video still playing? Okay. Yeah, yeah there's the blue. There's the blue text now. Oh yeah, this is the fucking, literally just the secret ending. Man, what a cool looking game. Can we watch the FF7 or 2015 teaser? Yeah, we'll watch that next, for shits. How could I do this in the morning? This is cooler than like any inch of Final Fantasy 13. And it's three fucking sequels or whatever. But I appreciate the sacrifice because it means that Kingdom Hearts is going to get this energy and these ideas. Maybe. That's kind of hopium to just say, to just throw out there, but... I mean, look at, look at, look at the fucking game that, we're, that we have in the background right now. Kingdom Hearts 4, you see what's happening? It's literally this. In spirit. So it's not all too far-fetched. It 
it's it's funny it's funny how we've kind of gone full circle with this pose here with Sora, right? You guys all know the fucking 1.5 box art. Sora's sitting just like that. Fucking Tetsuya Nomura's out here making Noctis his new boy. He's sitting in the chair just like Sora did. And now we've come full circle with Sora literally just wearing Noctis' skin, more or less. Isn't that interesting? We've gone full circle. Full circle. All the juice has been injected straight back into Sora. When's the FF15 stream? This year. I will pick a um, a good block of time to devote to that game and nothing else. It has become too um, relevant. Where's that 2015 FF7R trailer? Watch that for shits and giggles real quick. Remember MGS5, FF15, KH3, calm the hype, maybe. See, KH3, it's kind of an unfair comparison because KH3 was um, switched engines and all KH3 was going to do was just fucking wrap up all of the handheld games and all the characters from the the mainline games that they unwrapped up. Like, the games were wrapped... KH1 and KH2 were wrapped up in this original trilogy of KH1, GBA, Com, and KH2. Everything was wrapped up nicely, and then they unwrapped it up while also introducing a billion handheld game characters. And then KH3's burden was to be like, okay, yeah, we're going to rewrap this up once and for all, and then kill Sora in some crazy fourth dimensional where we're going to send him to Final Fantasy versus 13 land, and then that's when the real Kino's going to start. You know? KH3 was just loose ends. And then they also did a bunch of mobile stuff on the side, and now we have Streletzi or what, however you pronounce her name. Yeah, we, we sent him to Brazil. That was what KH3 was. The only thing KH3 put on the table was um, sending him here. This is This is the setup. Oh, what I meant, when I meant 2015 trailer, I meant the FF7 thing that Ren was talking about. I, I'm very curious to see what kind of scope that this game is going to have, you know? Like, how many characters are going to be in, in it? Are we going to play mul as multiple characters? What kind of worlds is this game going to have? Is, is Quadratum going to be, like, half the game? I hope it is, to be honest. I hope... Okay, so we all... We're all, like, 90% on the Star Wars shit, right? That's an ATST is like, like, one-to-one. -one. Here. I'll pull that up. We'll play it in a minute. Oops. Why does it go onto that monitor? Fuck. Watch this in a minute. Let me finish my thought. But, uh, this is an ATST is like, so, like... Is it all going to be connected to Quadratum? Is Quadratum just going to be like one realm where everything just kind of is? Is Quadratum going to be the city? Or is it going to be a realm? Like a sleeping, like the realm of darkness. Yeah, like the realm of darkness or the sleeping realms in DDD. Is it going to be a realm or is it going to be a city? Like what are we doing here? What was the dialogue again? His hair is fucking crazy. This is Quadratum, like the whole thing, or the realm or the city? And we also gotta analyze to what degree quad means. Is it gonna be like, are they really doubling down? Is this square city? Is Leon gonna be here? Not Leon, but like more like. Orin and all the other characters that haven't been seen since Cage 2. Yeah, she looks real. Anybody that says that she's not good looking is just not a fan of real women. It seems to be the rundown.
Zack could be here. Perhaps even Cloud and Sephiroth, because, you know, they went to a um, undisclosed location after KH2. Maybe they ended up here somehow. About time. Yeah, so is this all going to be one fucking place? How is this going to work? Oh yeah, world ends with you might be here, but okay, think about that though, hold on. We gotta analyze that. How the fuck is the two we cast gonna look in these graphics? Not well. But there's no way. Like, they can, they can, they can stretch Sora into this art style, but I don't know. Nah, the, we're not going to be meeting them in Shibuya this time around. World Ends With You fans can go back into their hole. They got their sequel. Now please just scuttle back into the little hidey hole. I'd be surprised if they were here, just because of these graphics alone. It doesn't seem like a fit. Unless they do some kind of area where it looks different or something, I don't know. Maybe they'll be on a computer, I don't know. That's the only way that this shit would make sense. The music in this is very brassy. It's unusual, it's very movie-esque. It's really good though. I really want to see real gameplay. I also wish I could see gameplay in more than 1080p, but... So sick of these coats. Kinda true. But these particular these particular coat wielders, if these are um if this is the Master of Masters in Wushu, they've got a bit more right to be wearing the coat than the rest of the fucking organization jobbers that haven't gotten much done. So there's a certain degree that I look at black coat users and be like, oh that's um those are the real dudes. Luxord? I don't know. Well, this is Melody, Melody of Masters. This is Master of Masters, because of his pose, right? And this is, um... That stance kind of gives me Zigbar energy, to be honest. Any Zigbar experts in chat? This is kind of, this is very Zigbar-y. Slash Lushu, sure, whatever. I think that's the Master of Masters in Zigbar. But that's just me looking at body language. And like nothing else. It was easier to tell black coats apart in Cage 2 when uh, black coats had like three different body types. You had, like, the skinny fucks, like Axel. Um, you had the barrel-chested lads, like Xemnas, and... Um, because Larxene stands out because she's female. Were there three body types in Cage 3, just between the male organization members in that game? I think Lexaeus and, and Xemnas fit the same build. Dude, I think Demiax looks different from Axel. I think Axel is an exception because he's especially skinny. Let me look this up. Isn't there a scene in Cage 2 where there are three black coats standing next to each other and it's the different builds of them? Vinitius and Shion were short too. Yeah, true, but I'm talking more so just Cage 2.
Where's the cutscene where they're in the mysterious tower and... Fuck it, cage two cutscenes. 13 hours, let's go. Gonna say no? Yeah, here we go. The beings you see before you now are different. These Okay, yeah, so you have, um... This is Zigbar. Zigbar stands like this. This is Xemnas, and this is Syax. Axel has skinnier arms. Yeah, it's just, I think for, between these three models, it's just posture, and yeah, these are, uh, these are Syax's emo sleeves. Yeah, his shoulders are very, um, A-shaped. Yeah. So you can, you can tell these apart. I don't know how much that translates to, like, their actual appearances, but this is, um, yeah, it probably is a fourth for Axel. I think Demiux also looks like this. Here, let's, uh, we're kind of on a tangent, but it's important. Because that's why I think that... That's why I think we're looking at Zigbar right here. Local Zigbar expert here. The guy on the roof is definitely Zigbar. I think you might have a little bit of bias, though. Yo, Mono with the bits, thank you very much. Yeah, I won't to dig too much deeper into this, but... You can more or less tell who the black coats are by body language and shape. Which is cool. It'd be nice if Master and Masters had a special coat, like some extra detail that you could like always tell him apart, but you don't even really need that for him because he's always he's always goofing around. He's got the biggest fucking shit eating posture of the entire committee of silly men. With his hands behind his back. You know, his goofy ass mannerisms that carry the back cover movie. Didn't Vexen stand like that? Vexen standed like um like Syax with the sleeves, right? He had like long sleeves that go down to the hands. Local FNAF expert FNAF. here. The guy on the roof is definitely Golden Freddy. I don't know FNAF, don't talk to me. Is it Golden One? I don't know shit about FNAF lore. You'd have to ask Sylvia. She's an expert. Alright. King Hearts 4. The guy on the right, you can see his hip bones and kinda his ribs. Well, Master Masters? I'm a FNAF expert, I got you guys covered. Oh yeah. What if, what if Master Masters is like a skinny, gangly fuck? What if he's like real depraved of nutrients? There's no way, look at his arms. And his shoulders. Oh, Gamer Sealman with the bits, thank you very much. The FNAF expert. Let's frame advance this so we can see the noodle poses. I hope every character, every scene with these characters has this energy with the animations. Oh yeah, that's Hades, by the way, if you didn't hear. Oi. Look at that, that's one frame. Holy shit. It's one frame. That's good. At 30 FPS, who knows what frame rate the cutscenes in this game will be on launch. Cage 3, I, I'm surprised that Cage 3 on PC had 60 FPS cutscenes. I thought that 30 FPS cutscenes were intentional for the HD collections, but I guess they did it because they didn't want to fix the cutscenes to look 
normal at 60 because of the, some of the bugs that would happen. Goofy over here looking like he's getting hit by another boulder. You're gonna archive your thoughts in Cage 3? Yeah, I actually am gonna post this. I'm gonna like cut this down a little bit and post it on the main channel. You gotta do something, right? For Cage 4, I gotta, I gotta farm my hype. Yeah, look, we got fucking... What do you call those? Smear frames? Yeah, smear frames. Yeah, you don't see many cutscenes like this in Kingdom Hearts where Donald and Goofy are like actually doing cartoon mannerisms. It's so swell. That's really good. Magic in the making. That's so cool. What's this gonna be? A recap video of the event? It's probably just gonna be like, oh yeah, look at these plates. Look at these $400 Kingdom Hearts 2 plates. That's probably what that recap video is gonna be. Oh yeah, where's the picture of, um... Hold on, I actually have it on my computer, I will put it on stream. The, um, the anniversary art, I'll put that up. They really got us with this, this, um, the KH4 section of this being blanked out, initially. Even though everybody was like, oh yeah, Kingdom Hearts 4, there are four windows, and one of them's blank. They tried putting it in a different order, they tried to be real silly, they were like, oh yeah, 3, 4, 1, 2, they won't ever know. Yeah, I, I retweeted the middle finger edit, that's very good. That artwork doesn't look like Sora. It does. It's just, he's chatified, and I think that that's swell. Look at Luxine. Hold on, real star, real, the, the real star of this image, actually. This is all that's important here. What is Zigbar doing? Hold on. Zigbar are always a shit eating hog face. Let's 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 do a deep dive into this photo. Why not? Now that I have it all zoomed in like this, let's let's do it. What if Marusha shows up in Quadratum in fucking Quadratum graphics? I don't think we're prepared for that. I hope Luxord's a normal ass dude in Quadratum. I remember when Cage 3 was still many years out, I remember kind of having like a headcanon, or like hoping that it might be like this where. Um, Lock scene with quadratum graphics. I was hoping that some of the former organization members who were recompleted are just guys that are just hanging out, like in like Radiant Garden or whatever, and like Luxord would have a mini game where you could play cards with them. And he's just a normal ass dude. I hope that it's like that in Quadratum. Yo, some schmucks with the bits. Thank you very much. I just realized that this is covering the chat. Uh, oop, there we go. That'd be cool. I want a mini game where you just hang out with Luxord and play poker or whatever. He looks just like Jack from Stranger of Paradise. It's so swell. Look at Zemis. What is he? What is he thinking about? He looks like he has some regrets. Fluoride stare. There are a lot of fluoride stares in this artwork. He looks like a fucking goblin. Look at this guy. He's got the three face. Oh, 
so excited for this. There are a lot of really good um, details in this. The more art has really um, changed over the years, hasn't it? The art style. I like where it's going. It looks like the Persona 3 Pro tag in this particular photo. I mean, he always does, but... Um, what, is this, what is this guy's name? Book guy? Oh, I keep forgetting. Yenzo. That's his real name. Let me unzoom this. This is like fucking... This is a very cool artwork. My phone wallpaper right now, it's not particularly good for seeing the time and date, but it looks nice. What fucking resolution is this image? Holy shit. You gonna tell me that thi the fucking this guy killed her? It's always the ones you least expect. How come we're never going to see Brain in a good game? Isn't that crazy? Never going to see him in a good game. Should I play the fucking phone game on, like, Blue Stacks When it comes out? Do I give it at least one shot? That might be interesting. Missing Link? I'm on, like, broken record. Fuck that. Look at the fluoride stare here. And look at my boy Roxas, he's looking good. Who's that in the background there? You see that? Is that... That's Riku Replica. Wow, I didn't even notice him at first. <laughs> you got games on your phone? Yeah, quite good artwork. Let me, uh... I think we're almost just about done rewatching this and talking about it. So let's watch the let's watch the mobile game Wendus shit. was possessed by the DNISS and killed Strelitzia, which caused a snowball effect, and Yalorium didn't take it very well. You want to talk about snowball effects? That fucking donation messages gave Jarvis a stroke. Yo, Neon Hummingbird with the bits. Thank you very much. Let's watch this mobile game shit. I skipped through this when this trailer first came out because I was like, nope. Overall, I rate this trailer very highly in the scheme, in the grand scheme of Kingdom Hearts trailers, because, you know, I've seen basically every Kingdom Hearts trailer, especially the ones for KH3. It's just, I gotta say, leading off with two fucking mobile games in the trailer video that was announced behind closed doors at 6 a.m. is a really shitty way of going about this. It sucks that this was not streamed at an event. That sucks a lot. They should stop doing that. They should have stopped doing that 10 years ago. What the fuck? You know, I... I've been to two of the Kingdom Hearts Orchestra events. And at least once during those, they play a song from one of the mobile games. And, you know, at those events, they have a big screen that shows cutscenes from the games that are corresponding to the music that they're playing. And both times, at both events, that they played the the dedicated Union Cross song and had these cutscenes on screen, more or less, this, this, these, this fucking art style, just everybody laughed in the audience. Like, just straight up, everybody just laughed. Because it's like, what the fuck are we looking at here? How are you going to include this? Full times. Still manifesting read days. I'm just surprised that they're not doing that on the side. Maybe they'll tell us later. This... This music rubbed me the wrong fucking way when I first watched this trailer and I watched this part of it. I was like, what? Is this clapping? Hikari to yami kara umareta hajimari wa 
This is dearly beloved, isn't it? I just realized. You know, I thought this was going to be the MMO. I thought this was going to be Kingdom Hearts Union Cross MMO, finally. I would have been down for that. But instead, it's just Genshin Hearts, like we all anticipated would happen eventually. Why are they targeting KH3's art style for this fucking phone game? Like, make it easier on yourselves. Do something that looks like KH2, at least. <laughs> they fucking tilt the fucking text just to be like, oh yeah, phone game. It's in portrait. Get ready. What the hell? See, okay, look at these, right? Look at these NFT attacks. You probably have these are probably NFTs that you have to get to use these attacks. And you wanna know why I say that? Because they look an awfully a lot like um like these. It's probably just trophies, but could you imagine? Oh, they were really like, yeah, let's make a Genshin Hearts that plays like KH3. Like, you didn't even sell me on the KH3 part of that equation. Now oh, here we are with whatever the fuck this is gonna be. I feel like because it's an actual game, I am obligated to try it at least once so I can properly talk shit about it when it comes out. So I'll, I'll look into the logistics of doing that. Fucking mobile games, dude. When, when will they cease? Closed beta test. I, I, it's just still so funny. There's a little highlight thing, Wabobber, on the video where it's like, yeah, this is where everybody's skipping to. YouTube probably gives you a fucking button that skips straight to that point, actually, because it's got, like, a highlight thing. Let's see what happens when I refresh the page. Is there, like, a little thing in a bobber that's like, oh, yeah. Press this to go to... Skip the... Yeah, there it is. Skip... Just press enter. And skip to the actual trailer. Thank you, YouTube. You got my back. I love it. I would pay to see the fucking the um, user retention for this video because there's there's a graph. Are you sure it's not part of sponsor block? Is it? Oh, it might be. I thought that that was an official feature. You're right. I think you are. I think you are right. Well, that's cool, anyways. And regardless, I would love to see the user retention graph for this video because you know if you're if you are a YouTuber and you have analytics, you get a graph to see what percentage of people are still watching at certain points of the video so you can see if people are like replaying something. Like if they're replaying like like for this particular video there's probably a big spike like right here. Because you know. And there's also probably a massive spike right here. So that's uh pretty funny. What plants are these? These are Star Wars mushrooms, aren't they? This is like a fucking Endor area. And you only know because of like the- This is how they're announcing Star Wars, it's like one inch of a fucking ATST's foot. That's awesome. I think that Star Wars will actually work out in this game if they're going for a different tone. And you know, Unreal Engine 5 graphics, I think that that is quite swell. Make sure that there's a Darth Vader, Tetsuya Nomura, Play Arts figure. Uh, super boss, though. Man, Kingdom Hearts is back. Please make sure to follow the stream if this is your first time here. We play Kingdom Hearts all the time. We are about to start a GBA com playthrough because I've never played GBA com on stream before. And we are also going to be playing the French version of KH2 in the near future after GBA com is done.
FF7R 2015 trailer to run it off? Sure. Can you link that again? Actually, now I have it right here. I forgot. I still got it open. I remember this trailer. I remember rewatching this trailer because I was like, ooh, look, Final Fantasy VII, the game I haven't played. I love Cloud. I don't think this is the trailer I saw, actually. Long ago, it is. Looked upon I remember the this shit. Sky. The memory of the star that threatened all burns eternal in our hearts. In its wake came an age of silence. Wasn't this game being developed by some Yet clown fucking developer, CyberConnect2 or whatever, and then they those encounters were like doing really shittily so the square square is like fuck it, we'll do it ourselves. That someday we would see them again. Perhaps it was no more than wishful thinking. But after the long calm, there are now the beginnings of a stir. The reunion at hand may bring joy, it may bring fear, but let us embrace let whatever us. it brings. Isn't gangly Mako addict Cloud in this trailer? Back. At last, the promise has been made. Didn't they, like, a couple of years before this, announce, like, Final Fantasy VII Remake, and we're, it's just, like, the PS1 version on PS4? And wasn't that, like, a massive letdown for people? And that's where the, um, Shinji Hashimoto troll gif comes from? Are they really putting ATST foot in this fucking trailer? Man, so exciting. It's nice to be back on, um, it's nice to be back on Cage trailer juice, you know? I haven't had the juice in many, many years. Cage 3 trailers started to burn me out in, like, 2018, so I stopped caring about, you know, analyzing and reanalyzing and whatnot with all those trailers, because there were so many fucking trailers for that game. Winnie the Pooh trailer, by the way, yeah, Winnie the Pooh trailer, show all the characters dying in Winnie the Pooh trailer. I'm not kidding. Let me pull that. Let me, let me bring that trailer up. Where is my um? There it is. Where's Winnie the Pooh trailer? Yeah, here we go. Winnie the Pooh trailer. I'm not scared anymore. You know what I mean? Okay. First of all, not Winnie the Pooh. I'm starting to. There they are. Together forever. How many what seconds do they last on screen? I'll be here. DMCA? Oh yeah, you're right. Meme scene everybody couldn't fucking stop talking about. Funny. Yeah, here's Winnie the Pooh right here. Where is this? Yeah, Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Plus 20 is now active. Plus and minus 20 are now active. Yeah, look at this Winnie the Pooh combat right here. Oh, here's Winnie the Pooh. No, that's Bejeweled or whatever it is. Oh my! That's Winnie the Pooh, kinda. That's not Winnie the Pooh, that's Purgatory. Here's everybody dying. This is not Winnie the Pooh. Hooray! Oh my! That's the fucking lingering will! That's not Winnie the Pooh! Why would they do that? Why would they... Actually, man. Uh, yeah, January 29th. Why? Winnie the Pooh. All right, gamers. I think we've talked about everything we can for Cage 4. Oh 
my. 